hello students uh, i am sumalata in today's class i want to discuss about fifth a group elements or 15th group elements also known as nitrogen family um, after watching this video uh, how do you feel just uh, mention your words in comment box is it useful or not um, if you feel useful do subscribe and like uh, share these videos to your known people 50a group elements or 15th group elements also known as nitrogen family nitrogen family another name for these elements is nicogens nicogens why uh, we call them as nicogens because they can produce uh, suffocating nitrogen gas in absence of oxygen that's what we call them as a uh, nicogens nico means uh, suffocating uh, gens means pro production suffocating gas production in absence of oxygen uh, their compounds are known as the nictides nictides uh, these elements are nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth and muscovium. These are the 50A group elements. Here nitrogen uh, atomic number is 7, phosphorus atomic number is uh, 15, arsenic 33, antimony 51, bismuth 83, muscovium is the 115. Here Nitrogen exists as a diatomic state, diatomic state, remaining phosphorus, arsenic, antimony in tetraatomic state, nothing but P4, uh, AS4, uh, SB4. Bismuth exists in monoatomic state. Here, uh, Moscovium is the radioactive element radioactive element here uh, nitrogen phosphorus if you can see these two are the non metals non metals uh, uh, arsenic antimony are the metalloids and bismuth is the metal okay uh, here um, Nitrogen is the gas, um, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth, all these are the solid materials, solid. I mean their elemental state exists in the form of solid. Nitrogen, um, diatomic gas, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony are the tetraatomic solids. Bismuth is the monoatomic solid. Muscovium is the radioactive element. Then coming to their uh, occurrence, if you see, um, nitrogen available 78 percent in atmosphere, 78 percent volume by atmosphere and 80 percent by mass, 80 percent by mass. If you can see in Earth's crust, nitrogen, most of the cases available in the form of their nitrides, those are Na, NO3 sodium nitrate. This is the chili salt peter. Chili salt peter. And if you, another one is KNO3, potassium nitrate is the Indian salt peter. Indian salt peter. Okay, the, these are the uh, I mean in earth's crust nitrogen available in their salt form. And another one is if you take uh, plants and uh, animals, nitrogen also essential constituent in, in them. And another one is uh, um, in our body, if you take uh, pro proteins, all proteins are nitrogen containing uh, molecules. Uh, and then coming to the phosphorus, this is about nitrogen. If you see phosphorus, phosphorus um, most of the cases available in mineral rocks of apatite family. Uh, especially if you can see um, CA3PO4 taken twice. Uh, CAX2 if you see here, X is nothing but 
fluorine may be chlorine or hydroxy group if x is fluorine that means ca3 here you can write 3 Uh, ca3 po4 taken twice caf2 is there that means that is chlorapata uh, fluorapatite okay if instead of x chlorine is there that is chlorapatite if hydroxy group is there that is hydroxy apatite and another one is if it is uh, um, ca3 po4 taken twice it is there like this then that is the hydro um, hydrox uh, phosphorite rock that one is the phosphorite rock in in another conditions if you see plants and animals also potassium um, phosphorus available not potassium phosphorus available con constituent uh, in plants and animals and also if you uh, take uh, bones um, bones all uh, phosphorus also present in bones and uh, living cells also phosphorus containing cells um in in another uh, i mean what about another elements uh, arsenic antimony bismuth these are available in their sulfide minerals sulfide minerals what are those you can see as2 s3 sb2 s3 bi2 s3 these are the sulfide minerals of uh, arsenic antimony bismuth uh this is the general introduction and one more thing here a uh, general occurrence if you see phosphorus is most available than nitrogen after that uh, arsenic antimony and uh, bismuth this is the general occurrence of uh, uh, nitrogen family elements or fifth year group elements uh, then coming to uh, their general properties this is the general introduction we will go to general properties in general properties if you can see first one is electronic configuration you can see electronic configuration general electronic configuration for uh, uh, 15th group elements is the ns2 np3 ns2 np3 so now for nitrogen you can take uh, by taking um, outer shell electronic configuration uh, reference with the nearest noble gas helium uh, 2s2 2p3 is the electronic configuration for nitrogen if you take phosphorus neon 3s2 3p3 um arsenic 33 argon 4s2 4p3 3d 10 antimony Fifty one. This one, krypton is the nearest noble gas. Five uh, s two, five p three, four d ten. Um, bismuth you can see eighty uh, three. Xenon is the nearest noble gas. Six s two, six p three, five d ten, four f fourteen is the it's noble uh, i mean outer shell electronic configuration by taking nearest noble gas and then moscovium is M mc indicate moscovium indicates with mc and uh, atomic number is the 115 radon is the nearest noble gas uh, 7s2 7p3 and 6d10 5f14 these are the outer shell electronic configurations of 15th group elements or 5th a group elements um, if you can see outer shell electronic configuration for uh, all these elements ns2 np3 nothing but completely filled s orbital uh, in i mean half filled p orbital is there so by taking these completely filled s and in uh, half filled p orbital gives more extra stability to the 15th group elements if comparison with uh, in with respective periods um, before the 
15th group elements nothing but if you compare with 14th group uh, with respect to periods then 15th group elements have extra stability when compared to the 14th group so uh, this is about electronic configuration uh, that means simply you can say um, uh, in co completely filled s orbital in com uh, half filled p orbital will gives extra stability to the fifth year group elements next one you can see atomic size atomic size increases down the group atomic size increases down the group the next one you can see covalent radius of a fifth year group elements covalent radius covalent radius also increases down the group but if you take uh, if you consider nitrogen to arsenic it will increases from arsenic to bismuth not much increase is there because of involvement of d and f electrons so that if you compare overall from nitrogen to bismuth increases overall uh, increment is there that's what we can call it as a, uh, from uh, down the group increases down the group increases so you can write nitrogen less than phosphorus less than arsenic less than antimony less than bismuth okay uh, then coming to ionization enthalpy just uh, i am writing ie ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy decreases down the group ionization enthalpy decreases decreases down the group here also some exceptions are there if you take first ie ie1 you can see ie1 that is nitrogen greater than phosphorus greater than arsenic antimony and bismuth this is okay but ie2 and ie3 you can see ie2 and ie3 ie2 and ie3 if you see nitrogen greater than phosphorus greater than arsenic greater than bismuth then antimony why this change is happening here because bismuth have completely filled f orbitals but that is not possible in the um, antimony so what will happen here um, because of um, completely filled s orbitals the uh, the electron i mean the energy need to take electron will increases so that's what bismuth have little bit more ie2 value for um, when compared to the antimony uh, same uh, the same series applicable for ie3 also then coming to electronegativity electronegativity if you see electronegativity also decreases down the group but for antimony and bismuth similar maximum similar values are there so nitrogen greater than phosphorus greater than arsenic greater than antimony equal to the bismuth because of um, down the group size will increases mm, screening i mean uh, shielding effect also will increases so that here uh, they may they both are having that means uh, antimony and bismuth having uh, similar electronegativity values and then coming to bond energy bond energy be bond energy nitrogen uh, bond energy less than phosphorus why because nitrogen is the diatomic phosphorus is the tetraatomic molecule so in diatomic molecule uh, nitrogen having triple bond between two atoms but um, here non bonded electrons are there those are having more repulsions between them that is the reason um, it is having less bond energy when compared to the um, phosphorus and then coming to next one um, density if you see density increases down the group density increases increases down the group next uh, density after if you see melting and boiling points first boiling point you can see boiling point 
boiling point increases increases down the group down the group because um, if density increases melting and boiling points will automatically increases so that the boiling point order is uh, nitrogen uh, less than phosphorus less than arsenic less than antimony less than bismuth this is about the boiling point then you can say about melting point if you say melting points up to arsenic increases that means nitrogen less than phosphorus less than arsenic and then antimony to uh, arsenic to antimony decreases and then uh, antimony to bismuth will also be decreases that means arsenic have more when compared to the antimony then bismuth ha um, bismuth less when compared to the uh, i mean and uh, uh, antimony less when compared to the bismuth that means see now because what is the reason here up to arsenic increases uh, for antimony decreases and then increases for bismuth because here metallic character increases and then poor shielding effect of fr uh, um, d and f electrons metallic character metallic character increases and then poor shielding effect of uh, um, last two elements of uh, nothing but f and uh, d electrons are there for these two elements so that that is the reason for um, uh, little change in melting points uh, trend if you coming to um, uh, elect i mean uh, thermal and electrical conductivity for uh, um, nitrogen phosphorus if you see these two are the bad conductors to heat and electricity uh, if you see um, arsenic it is the poor conductor then antimony and bismuth if you see these are the good conductors to heat and electricity if you go with go for uh, allotropic forms except nitrogen all fifth year group elements will show allotropic forms if you take phosphorus phosphorus can show white red uh, and black um, uh, allotropic forms uh, then we will discuss about uh, all uh, these properties allotropy uh, about allotropy uh, while discussing chemical properties and uh, if you see catenation just like uh, fourth year group elements fifth year group elements also show catenation capacity but when compared to the fourth year fifth year group elements show a little bit less if uh, if you compare with fourth year group okay uh, this is uh, these are about uh, general properties and uh, uh, general introduction and uh, general properties are physical properties of uh, uh, fifth year group elements i think you are all understand about this one if you have any doubts just post your doubts in comment box uh, um, thanks for watching we will meet in the next class bye i love you